Therapy Hour with Ways of the World. Today we're exploring subjects like what does it mean to fail? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! It is our one year anniversary. I can't believe like one year ago we took a one-way flight to Dalaman, Turkey. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. I can't believe it. We had so many cool experiences this last year. But this is not a video where we just share the highlights of the amazing year that we did have. Because behind the scenes there's been a lot of like difficult stuff happening. So we decided to make a video that's a little bit more transparent and show you some of the rough things that we're going through yeah. at Ways of the World. Because to be honest, we're not really where we wanted to be after a year of full-time travel. Yeah, that's true. We Actually, this is the second time that we sit down to make this video. It's really, really hard, but we're going to share everything with you. We have notes because we don't want to rumble for like 30 minutes. So like the first thing that we want to share with you is like what we try to achieve with Ways of the World. So I don't know if you guys know this, but besides this YouTube channel, we also have a blog. And we never wanted either to be about us. Our vision always was to like make it useful for you guys, you know? So like be entertaining, but also like share a lot of like the good and the bad and like how much things cost to help you plan like your perfect trip. And that's like at a really basic level. Yeah, but I think we also like wanted to like encourage people to go like more off the beaten path where it's like easier to make like a human connection because we think one of the most rewarding things about travel is like when you do make that human connection and it's usually easier to do <laughs> when you get like a little bit off the beaten path like smaller towns where they get like less tourists. Yeah. That's also like part of the vision that yeah, we have for Ways of the World. Yeah, really hard to put into videos honestly, right? Mm -hmm. Because like not a lot of people like to be like in front of camera but we really do our best to like highlight people because like one of our biggest like we cringe when we see other creators just sharing like the beautiful pictures and like we've seen like stuff from other bloggers that like in places that we've been and they took like the one perfect photo and it just didn't like paint the whole picture so like it for us like it sucks it sucks that it feels like you're being like it's not to bash other creators it's just like they're not painting the whole picture yeah. and it's like for people that get influenced and like visit those places and spend the time and the money yeah. for their like vacations it's kind of like misleading yeah. so we try to be like more transparent like across the different platforms yeah so we have four different platforms where we try to paint the entire picture of the different places that we visit the most obvious is this YouTube channel where we can get a little bit more personal and share stories that only like really come through in long form video the next is our blog, where we get like a lot more detailed into the different places that we visit with like prices, all the best places to visit, maps, etc. Yeah, we, it's very detailed our blog. It's very, very detailed and like together, like we hope that it's like a comprehensive like story with like the YouTube and the blog that really paints like a really good picture of the places that we yeah, visit. Yeah, that's 100% intentional how they, the two like connect. And then we also have our newsletter and our newsletter is a really fun email that we send every Sunday. And it's kind of like live from like where we are, like what happened that week. So it's really cool because we share a lot of personal stories there that they don't make the cut, right? Like anywhere mm -hmm. else. Also, like sometimes we don't have the picture or we don't have like the, you know, like the video and stuff. Yeah. So it's really fun. And this is a shameless plug. I'm going to put it in the link in the description so you guys can check it out because you can always like reply to that email and like send recommendations or like feedback or whatever. And it's just fun to like chat. And then we also have our Instagram and our Instagram is kind of, what's our Instagram? Our Instagram is something that is strategyless. <laughs> yeah, our Instagram is like a journal. It's right? a journal, but it's also like the easiest way to get in touch with us. So like obviously the blog mm -hmm. has a lot of good information, but if you want to reach out and like ask questions, like we're most yeah, exactly. active in a sense. And on yeah, Instagram. I check I check Instagram every day and we also share behind the scenes stuff and like stuff on stories, you know, but just for fun. Like Instagram is not really like our main platform, but I mean you should still follow us, but but it's just like very like whatever. Behind the scenes we don't think about it that much. Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, all of these things take a lot of our time and we're not gonna get like into details of like how hard we work because everyone out there like works really hard. But we this is gonna bring us to our next point because we, we're struggling with time management. This is the challenge. The challenge. So the biggest challenge that we are facing is time management. Like we basically feel like we're half-assing both YouTube and the blog yeah. because each take a ton of time and we're kind of like split between both and like not doing either at like 100% of like our capabilities, I guess. So yeah. it's like very difficult like juggling those two things. Yeah, so to do both of those like right, like close to 100% right, it really needs two people full time. 
and right now we're not doing a great mm -hmm. job at that you know like it just feels like eventually we have to give up on one of them Did she say give up? So we mentioned at the beginning of the video that we are nowhere close to where we thought we would be after one year. We've put a lot of content out there, like over 80 videos, like 50 blog posts or something like that. And we had, you know, like goals that we wrote down based on what we read, like other creators, like, you know, sharing like about like their journey for the first year. So we made like goals for ourselves that we that we didn't achieve like it's it, like it all this like it, it doesn't mean it doesn't like translate to like subscribers or like monthly views only it obviously translates to money so money tell them how much money we make i hate talking about money but it's even harder when you talk about no money <laughs> <laughs> so monthly we make about 100 dollars on youtube yeah. and just over 50 on the blog at this point so that's a whopping 150 <laughs> per month for the effort that we put in it's very sad and it's very painful for working what 60 hours a week at least no, 60 70 each yeah yeah it's it's nothing obviously not sustainable and we kind of knew it was true right that like we saved money for like almost five years yeah so we knew that both youtube and the blog would take a lot of time to like build up and get running and make an income because that's just like the nature of those two businesses and we saved for five years to travel for two years without any income and we succeeded in the first year for making no income <laughs> <laughs> and now the second year is coming and it's like oh my god we I better know. make this work. Yeah, because like in the back of my head, like we save, we prepare ourselves like, oh, we're not going to have an income for two years, but we also had plans to like, okay, the first year, I mean, there's no way it's going to be like zero income. No. And it's exactly what happened. And now we, yeah, just one year to make Waste of the World work, which is really scary. The countdown is on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing the Turkish head bump. No, just... <laughs> Being dramatic, uh, but I I do feel concerned and terrified. I don't get this job. Like the contents. So we are both data nerds, and we have like studied and learned like what we need to do better with like our YouTube channel because we really want to like keep it alive. And there's basically three things that YouTube cares about. And I'm gonna be like brief and quick with this, so stay with me. So like the first one is something called click-through rate or CTR. And that's basically like the percentage of people that click to watch your video. So that's why it's so important to have like a good thumbnail and a good title so people like click on it. And honestly for a small channel, like we're not like we or CTR is good. it's pretty mm -hmm. decent. And then the second one that YouTube cares about, they wanna keep you on the platform, so they care about watch time. Mm -hmm. So they really measure like how much time people spend like watching your videos and based on what we read and learn like you should aim for like 50% and for us it's like I would say like the average is like 40 so like the number has grown like since we started sharing videos and that's why we have like practice to making like good intros and learn about storytelling and like so you have just to keep like, getting better on camera too just like practicing yeah, our skills. Exactly to so keep people like watching the video all the way to the end because like, that's the goal. And then the third one is where we need your feedback. We need to hear from you, honestly. And this is like part of the reason why we make this video too, right? Because mm -hmm. like, we need we need you, we need from you. The third one is engagement. And our engagement is really low. Like we have really low, like little likes, little comments, and we don't know what we're doing wrong. Like we never like put this on you. Like it's like, oh, why are you not, not liking or commenting our videos? It's like, our We wanna job. learn what encourages you yeah. to like, like Exactly. And comment on a video. So yeah. it's not like please comment on our videos. It's like yeah. no, we want to learn how to get better at YouTube at the business that we're exactly. trying to create. Exactly. So we, what we need from you is like to think about what drives you to comment on like other people's videos and like on their videos, and let us know. And I, I know I'm asking like to leave comments right now, but like I really need your feedback because we do really want to get better and we want to serve you better. We want to make better videos, and we want to keep doing this. Honestly, like we we want this to be like our jobs like for a long time. And we need you. We appreciate like if you already like and comment on our videos, like they really they really keep us going, honestly. Like every time that we have like a hard day and we read like this like really nice comments, like I I have to like cry over comments, mm -hmm. like honestly, because okay <laughs> because it helps. Like we have a lot of hard days and it really helps when you know when 
when people are like rooting for you, like that that keeps you going, right? Yeah, because this, sure. is, this is not an easy job. So we, we appreciate you, we really do, and we want to get better. So please let us know what we can do better. <laughs> I take a break now. Cut. Okay, I'm okay now. Let's continue. Yeah, that was a little bit Just so happy. No, you're good. <laughs> I apologize for that. I didn't. Oh, you didn't <laughs> So, what's next for us? First of all, we have to restate that we are not giving up yet. But if things don't change in the next four to six months, then we definitely have to rethink our strategy and spend way more time on either YouTube or the blog. But for now, the short-term strategy is to pay more attention to YouTube. So we're going yeah. to publish one extra video per week. Mm -hmm. So Aymana is working very hard to publish an extra video per week. And, and, and yeah, it's not like, like we're trying to just put more videos out there just for the sake of it. Like yeah. we really, we, our videos are very intentional. We spend a lot of time like planning them. Like he plans like all of our videos like with a lot of detail. And we try to translate our values into each of our videos. So like learning about all our cultures, like being brave, being optimistic, trying new things like foods or activities or experiences. Like we try to put at least three of those values in like each video. So yeah. we really think about this. And then the blog, it's like getting a little bit Yeah, less so I'm attention. going to have to step away from the blog a little bit. So like in theory to do a blog well, you have to post frequently, but instead of like posting two to three times a week, it'll be like two times a month moving forward. So yeah. I'm gonna spend more time and like developing ideas for the YouTube videos mm -hmm. and like storytelling and stuff like that and just like creating like a better video and that takes yeah. a lot of time, that believe it or not. That does take a yeah. lot of time. Yeah. So we're trying to get a lot better with that as just like telling better stories on the video. So that's why I'm stepping away. We hope you notice. <laughs> yeah, we hope they're getting better. Yeah, we, know, exactly. Yeah, we, we try. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we don't want to give up. Like we're not ready. Like I don't think I can physically give up on like our dream. Like we have worked so hard for this and we really, really are giving it 100% of us, you know, like mm -hmm. to make it work. And yeah, like it, it's hard to think about because I don't know if like in six months from now or four months that we have to make a video saying, hey, we're giving up on our blog, we're giving up on our YouTube channel because we definitely have to change something if like yeah. the income like doesn't start like Some coming. Some things have right? to change, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And to end this video, we just want to say thank you to everyone that supports us on YouTube, the blog, Instagram, the newsletter, and whether it's family or friends or just people that we've met on the internet and become like internet yeah, friends. Exactly. We're very thankful for your support. Mm -hmm. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I hope this video doesn't feel like a goodbye video because it's not. Like as we said earlier, like we're working even harder on our YouTube channel now, and we just like pretty much like made this video because like I feel like we've never shared like this part of the journey yeah. right like well you see our like highlights and yeah we share like other stuff and hard moments and like all those things but like this is like really deep behind the scenes because it's been the best year of our lives but it's also been like really intense um, a lot of struggles yeah. yeah a lot of struggles a lot of like emotions like a lot of yeah things that we've never like experienced before but we want to end the video with a positive note. Um, we want to share like our highlights from this past year because it has been the best year mm -hmm. of our lives. We've had like great experiences and met amazing people and seen beautiful places. It's just been yeah. awesome. We have changed so much too, and it's it's cool. Like yeah, there's there's been like a lot of bad things too, but like I wouldn't change it for anything. You know, no. like this has been the best year. So here I'm gonna put like a cute song with all the highlights. And thank you for watching. Enjoy. Thank Bye. you guys. There's a video tomorrow. Okay, don't forget. This is this is not replace any of the other videos. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.
not bother me The sun is shining through every window pane It's bathing you in light, so why should I complain? I feel like we took a giant weight off our chests, right? Feel liberated. Look at him doing laundry. Cute. By the way, we're in a new country, shooting a new travel series. But we can't tell you where we are. Can you guess? There are bears. Ah. <laughs> feel free to guess. <laughs> 